you sir form okay the question is how will you sir form now let me give you the example right i'm um, just belief is uh, our conscious mind is the filter see suppose i come and tell you there is a snake snake here you will not accept it because your conscious mind says no your conscious mind is a filter for a child the conscious mind filter is not fully developed yeah i'm getting okay then it goes straight away to subconscious mind it gets into program straight away so if you look at a, a, a baby of a cow or baby of a giraffe and baby of human being what is the difference you see all animals the moment they are born they take milk and they walk they run means their learning is over by birth okay there more no more learning is there right but human baby only 20% learning is there before birth the brain is developing up to the age of 9 for learning so most of the learning of the human baby happens from age of 6 months in the womb to 9 months 9 years in the uh what you call sir uh, 9 years of child so that time the brain is in a programming mode reception mode so child will absorb unconsciously whatever is coming straight away there's no filter there so your family your parents your uh, grandparents the tv everything is absorbed by the child and they start becoming their core of its uh, understanding imagine a child okay the baby it's in a uh, it's in a cradle it starts crying okay. so suddenly a giant will appear for a baby everybody is a giant a big figure will appear mother it lift up and give something so the child doesn't know its mother some figure has come helping him okay so this this program this uh, it's not child doesn't know its mother somebody is coming lifting me and taking care of me so this becomes god in the future <laughs> wherever i am somebody will lift me up and take me <laughs> so different situation in life the child has no clarity what is it those abstractions will become core of our belief systems in the day to come so somebody like how can we change this belief like cut cut off cut it off like that's exactly so a self inquiry what i'm teaching that's exactly how can i get it off is that's what is self inquiry that's what is spiritual journey is all about Which have the problems? Like something is coming which stopping having. I am saying everything is a process of self inquiry, atma vichara. See what you are doing, you discovering something yourself based on your societal conditioning. So there is a method by which you can gradually get rid of this. It's not there is a science behind it. If you don't go through a step by step science, you will discover something. Here and there. We are responsible for. Oh yes. Some say that they blame people, right? Some people blame. Some people say tell that we are responsible for that. Some say just tell that no one is responsible. what can we say that see the question is uh, people behave in a different circumstances something happens people say blame others some people say i am responsible for what has happened so let me correct myself somebody says nobody responsible okay these are all belief systems that's all finally you have to choose a belief system which is empowering you that's all see everything is a belief system nobody is responsible then he will become irresponsible yes yeah, that too i'm saying don't worry about him you have to choose a belief system which will empower you so blaming is not good saying nobody is responsible also is not good i am responsible so that i can improve my life very simple empowering belief system so if you feel that nobody is responsible is a very empowering belief system take it <laughs> ultimately choice is worse i'm saying still 
If you choose, choose any of these three, still you are choosing your experience of life. That is still you are responsible. <laughs> if, you say, if you say, blame somebody, okay, you are blaming somebody. That means you are responsible. If you say, I am responsible, I'll change my life, then you are responsible. If you say, nobody is responsible, then also you are responsible. Because nobody is responsible, something happens to you, then still you are responsible. It will happen to you only. <laughs> I won't say what is best. I am here only to give you a menu card. It's ultimately you have to choose. I'm saying I'm not here. I'm only showing you the dimensions. Ultimately, it's you have to choose. I'm telling you, these are the parameters. Because if I if I tell you, then I become the dictator. I want you to become chooser. And everything you choose. You say nobody's responsible. Then choose that kind of lifestyle. Then see what will happen to your life. Not good, I think, because, uh, like... No, no, no. Don't have to give me an explanation. I understand what you say. I'm saying. So there are only three choices. Choose what is best for your life. Next. Okay, you're fine. You told that we will discuss in the next class, right? About belief, how the belief system. No, I told you, no, just now I told. Next class, big answer I will give you. The child, human child is up to age of nine. All right. Up to age of nine years. The brain is growing like un unlike animals. Learning of human child goes up to nine, nine years. At that time, lot of, whatever it observes, unconsciously program it. Of course. It won't be that, uh, when I grew up, like, uh, it was something that in my family, that smoking is not good for or something like that. But uh, when I grew up, slowly, slowly, I was not with the people who are with smoking and all. So I, I always depart like what outside of them, right? But as I grew up, that I found out that it's not that like that is people who are smoking is are not good because most of the people are most people smoking are smoking is about not being good or bad. Yes, smoking is destroying your health. So if you say destroying your health is good, the smokers are good. See, good and not bad is a good and is a bad is a very. So what I said is, uh, in my family, people smoking is not good. People smoking are who are not good. Then after I grew up, I said, said good people. There are good people who smoke. So now, what is the definition of good? The good means somebody who destroys his own lungs and liver and kidney. If he's good, good. So you want to understand what is good means? I mean, good is a very vague term. If you somebody you think that somebody who smoking by smoking his lung is getting destroyed, liver is getting destroyed, cancer is coming, and his family is getting destroyed, such a person is good for you, yes. it's good. <laughs> then you have to decide what is good. See, these are all vague words. How to But I, what I felt that people who were not so good students are going higher than me. And probably I think that the beliefs are really stopping me, I think, because you have to change your belief to change your experience. So the belief may be some people is better than me, I'm inferior to them. Then what is your belief? You are correct. So you may you may come to see the question is in my student, some people are students are better than me, I'm not uh, so good. So I'm not so good, what is the belief you have to correct? So then you may, you may also come back and say, student education is not good for me. Yeah, may you change belief also. But I, I'll, I'll, okay. no, I'm saying, you may find something else, but you have to open up and understand it's deep rooted within me is causing a problem. Yes, so you have to find out what is it within me blocking. See, somebody getting score 100 marks and 70 marks is not good and bad. It's good and bad from society point of view. We are not, we should not bother. Ultimately, are you peaceful? Are you comfortable? No, no, I'm not peaceful. I'm not peaceful at studying at all. Something gives me peace. Go for that. Go by your feelings. There's no requirement that you have to study and get 100 marks. So that is an illusion. Everybody should get 100 marks. Everybody should be like, a, that's not possible. So you have to see, really it's worth for me. Really it's good for me. Then what is holding me? No, it's not, it's not, it's not worth holding. It's a society compulsion. So what should what should I do? I should go with the my instinct and feeling. I'm saying your instinct and feeling also can be corrupted. Should we, we grab that's the inner journey. 
because instinct of spirits also can be corrupted corrupted <laughs> right that's why satsang and spiritual company are gradually clear that mess that's why it said satsangatve nisangatvam nisangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nishchatatvam in come satsang what happened gradually all unconscious beliefs are start shaking shaking <laughs> right So close for the day. Hari Om Prabhuji. Hari Om Mary. Komari, also, was it useful? Very useful, Prabhuji. So this uh, this whole process is to recognize our recognize the limiting belief, ah. shift to empowering belief, and right. use that shat sampati in that process. Right. Uh, and uh, you always say that uh, Satchitananda. So we have sixty six percent for granted. The Ananda today was maximum <laughs> because it's so practical moment to moment guidance. You have to get rid of your core belief, belief also. Right, Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Prabhupada. Okay, Hari Om everybody. We'll close for the day. On Friday, we have a Canada session of the same thing. Thank you, Prabhupada.